see that? It says, uh, well, there's some naked woman, but there it says Sinaloa. There's a little drawing of a guy with a gun. Good morning internet, it is 22.8 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Okay, we need to talk about the map and my roots and what's going on. Wow, Alaska also really need a, needs a wash and oh, so do I. <laughs> but anyway, moving on, I just want to talk about the map a little bit and uh, what's going on. So I'm now right over here. And in the last video, I entered the state of Chihuahua that runs all the way here, 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 here. It's the biggest state of Mexico. Well, and also one of the most dangerous ones. Um, so as I am approaching the north of Mexico, it's basically the more dangerous it's getting. So I'm not going to cross into the United States from this side because then I would have to right through this area over here which i want to avoid a much safer route will be through baja california and from here from los mochis i can take the ferry to la paz and then continue up north so to get to los mochis where was it now um, here from where i am now i am going to ride through this area and over here you have the copper canyon and the copper canyon i think is the second largest canyon in the world after the grand canyon so it's pretty, pretty amazing area to ride through, but this area is also not entirely safe either. There are two cartels. You have the Sinaloa cartel, which I think, well, according to Wikipedia, I think they are mostly active in this area. And then, well, a lot of other areas in Mexico as well. And then you have the Juarez cartel, which is very active in the north of Chihuahua. And the area where I'll be riding, I actually do not know who is there. But in any case, the authorities there are, it's the cartel that controls the whole area. They basically run the entire place. Um, so I cannot just ride through that like normal, like nothing's going on. I need to take some precautions and some preparations, uh, which I already did. I will talk more about that in the next video because for today I think I should still be fine. Today the plan is to ride to Creil, which is right here. So, so today I'll kind of be riding to the starting point of the Copper Canyon and then after that I'm gonna cross straight through the Copper Canyon. But that will be a different story. So to get to Creil I'm going to follow this road and I'm guessing it will be dirt from here on all the way to Creil. I think this should be all dirt. And the total distance is 350 kilometers. Um, so I should be able to make that. But yeah, as always, it just really depends on the road. If it's really bad and I can only go 25 kilometers per hour, then it takes me a while. So I better get going and um, yeah, see how today will go. Buenos dias. See? <laughs> okay. There we go. I filled up my tank before I entered town. So I don't have to do that anymore. Look at the square. Oh, I should actually see if I can go to an ATM because I think the area where I'm going I don't think there's going to be a lot of ATMs, so I need cash. Right, that's all done. That's one worry less. I 
very pretty town this very clean well kept so it starts to become more mountainous you can definitely tell I'm entering a completely different area now Look at this scenery! <laughs> oh, it's already so beautiful here and I'm not even in the Copper Canyon. Wow, the views are amazing again. I'm riding pretty high up, 2700. It's uh, pretty chilly up here, actually. <laughs> but nice. And I'm closing in on uh, Gua Chochi, which I think is the last town before Creil. Okay, this is uh, Gua Chochi, it's just on the left here. But I am gonna go this way. Creil, 157Ks. Maybe it's all paved. After all, who would have thought? It's reverses. Hey, look at that. There's another. Oh, it's a cave or a mine. Mine entrance just over there. Anyway, uh, this is the Rio Urique. Oh, this is the Urique River. Yeah, that rings a bell because my route through the Copper Canyon will lead past a town called Urique. And uh, apparently, this, this one is called the River Urique. so quiet on this road where are all the people at finally some dirt this is a lot bumpier than it looks like all these hidden rocks everywhere See that? It says, uh, well, there's some naked woman, but there it says Sinaloa. There's a little drawing of a guy with a gun.
of a maze here. I think I'll just follow this one. We see trails everywhere. Oh, the smell of the forest is so nice. Really, really nice. Pretty surreal landscape, right? Incredible rock formations. Look at that. some point this boulder is going to come down incredible so this is a very good example of what happens when you have wind erosion and two different rock types of which one is more susceptible to erosion than the other and then you get well, what they call mushrooms Still at altitude, I can notice it with my breathing that we're high up here. I'm very close to uh, Creil now as well, so it's not so far anymore. stresses oh it's so windy up here not real at the same time that explains how you get that crazy wind erosion on the rocks there that doesn't really come as any surprise so the indigenous people that live in this part of Mexico, all around the Copper Canyon area, are the Tarahumaras people. And they are world famous for their long distance running capabilities. So they think it's because they live in an area where distances are really long and people used to live very far apart. But they say that the people can run 270 kilometers in one go. Uh, I want to get to the other side <laughs> of the water here, but I'm not sure how to get there. So yeah, and the, the women, they wear like these beautiful long dresses, very colorful dresses. But I think another very fascinating thing about th these people is that they live in caves or in rock overhangings. And uh, some of them have now moved to more modern housing, but there's still uh, a lot of Tarahumaras people that live in caves and I've heard of one lady that lives in a cave just outside Creil so I'm going to try and see if I can uh, find her her house her cave um, do I get like this I guess I can cross this no this is a uh, a walking trail. Would it be here? I think it's here. No? 
Shall I just ride up? Hola, chica. Doña Petra es su abuela. abuela. Sí, bisabuela. Abuela. Bisabuela. Ah, ¿y, ¿Y sabe desde cuándo ella vive acá? Siempre desde chiquita aquí nació ella. Ah, ella nació acá. Sí. Y antes su familia también estaba... Su mamá y sus abuelos. Ah, oh, wow. Me encanta. Eh, hace buen calor, ¿no? No hace frío acá. O sea, es por acá. Oh, okay. sí, 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 sí. Usen uh, madera, ¿no? Sí, madera. Ay, ay, ay. Porque en invierno hace mucho frío acá, sí. afuera. Oh. Y antes, ¿sabes cuándo...? ¿Cuánta gente vive en esta área? ¿Como un, ¿Siempre estaba un pueblo acá? O? Pues había un pueblo chiquito aquí. ¿Cómo se llamaba antes aquí? ¿Segora? Segora sí se llamaba. Ah, ok. Ah, ya, ya. Estaba chiquito y antes me contó mi abuela que muchas personas venían de muy lejos y aquí se quedaban. Por eso es que está así un mar. Porque nomás ponían luz así en medio. Sí. Y me dijeron que los tarahumaras son muy buenos en correr. Sí. ¿Es verdad? Sí. sí. ¿Ustedes también? Sí. ¿Sí? Ah, yeah. Hacen, uh, como, no sé la palabra en español, mar maratón. Maratón. ¿Ustedes? Sí, de caballo blanco. ¿En caballo blanco? ¿Es el nombre de maratón? Sí, así se llamaba, pero ya se murió el señor. Era un gringo. Ah. ¿Y mu mujeres y hombres, ambos? Sí, mujeres y hombres. Ah. Yo corrí 80 kilómetros, quedé en cuarto lugar. ¿100 kilómetros? 80. 80. Increíble. Y allá en Urique se llama donde corremos. Ah, hasta Urique. Sí. Yo, increíble. <risa> wow, qué bueno. Me encanta tu casa. Tan cool, ¿eh? Ya. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Adiós. Muy, muy buenos people. Amazing to uh, have a peek inside uh, their home. It was really boiling hot inside. That uh, wood stove was definitely working. Of course, the rock face will keep all the heat inside. I have no idea where I'm going actually. I saw a little track and I was like, let's uh, explore this. It's just so awesome everywhere with these rock formations. The only thing is I'm now behind this car. It's a bit of a shame. Let's see where this leads to. Wow, the women wear such colorful clothing around here. It's beautiful. Ah, this must be krill, I think. Must be. It's quite a big town. I ah, it must be here. See they have room. Well, I have the cutest bed of all times. <laughs> so I made it to Creil. Pretty, pretty pleased with uh, how today went, and it was a good ride. Really enjoyed it, and uh, nothing crazy happened, so that's good. And now I am kind of at the beginning of the Copper Canyon. So the next ride is going to be interesting, I think. Uh, as I enter the canyon, but uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes, right? So anyway, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.